Hey everybody, welcome to Watch in the Dark. I'm your host today, Garrett. We're gonna be going over my Arcs of Omens wish list. Uh, I'd like to see a few armies uh, get buffed, but not in the traditional way they've been buffing armies in the past. Like Admech, I'd like to see just maybe get some new rules. That's tough because they already have a bunch of rules that already make the game way more complicated than it needs to be, or way too many things to keep track of. But I would like to see them buff armies in unique ways that aren't just buffing secondaries for them to use as a crutch. Not implying that this is sisters, but this is sisters. Uh, popular rumors, AOC is going away and mass point drops across the board for armies that had it before to make up for that difference, which I think is a good thing. I think AOC helps a lot with the AP creep, but wounds and stuff like that makes the army just better overall. Just having more dudes and units and armies having more guns uh, also helps that win rate going up. So if they get like 10 to 20 point percent decreases across the board. I can see this being a really powerful... Uh, flyers are rumored to get a point hike and relegated to strategic reserves. So this really ends the like towel, harpy, plane meta. Uh, but I also think it has some negative effects. Uh, like Drakari planes that are bomb that are only good at bomb. Or same with Eldar that just coming in from reserves means they pop up, don't do anything for turn, and then just get shot and die for two hundred points. It just seems a little bit of an overcorrection for all planes. But if they want to avoid flyers, I, I think this is the best course of action because flyers have been a problem for a while now. I think the rumors are a little bit overboard for Tyranids and Sisters. Sounds like they're getting absolutely hit with the nerf bat, which I don't love. Uh, sisters were using uh, secondary for a crutch, and I think we're about to see how much they were using that as a crutch maybe after all of these changes. Uh, I think the Tyranids nerf probably reasonable now. I wish we would have had this like Few month, uh, like six months ago, and we could have fixed it then and then buffed them up now. I would also like a reduction of uninteractable secondaries, like uh, warp ritual for some armies, and then like things that just you can't interact with. They just like do an action, and it happens right away. Uh, just like end of turn things, I would like to see a reduction in. Uh, or at least secondaries that really make you play different than how your list already wants to play. And things that reward you for doing stuff that typically you wouldn't do. Like something like bring back Stranglehold, but you have to stay there till your next command phase on three objectives. And you get five points because you can't score it at the end of the game. You can't score it turn one. Uh, where it rewards you for being a durable army that's able to stay on their ground, hold points. And it does have a tactical disadvantage. You have to expose yourself onto objectives or like actually maintain a unit on there. And it has risk and reward, which I think is an interesting game mechanic that isn't uh, luck-based. Like, it's not a luck-based thing. It is now a... Uh, I mean, it's a dice game, so luck's involved. But it's it's still a thing that you have control over. Uh, I would also like them to change... If they do do towards this, I would like not just durable armies to get the, the boon of this. Because things like LR exist, stuff like that. That's way less durable. Guard, stuff like that. Uh, instead of just kill X thing, maybe do more things like scout the enemy, completing actions in your opponent's deployment zone, doing things that they normally wouldn't do on their own accord. My final thoughts is this will shake up the metagame a lot, and I'm very excited for it. I'm nervous a little bit about balanced, uh, but I think overall this will be a fun time and a really good shakeup for the game. At least they're trying new things, and that's all I can really ask for. Well, thank you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one.